السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم اینڈ گڈ آفٹرنون سو ٹو سونو ڈیجیٹل ویئرس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ویری سگنیفیکنٹ اینڈ ویلیونٹ ٹاپک ریلیٹڈ ٹو اسلامک آئیڈیالوجی ایکسپینشن اینڈ اسلامک کانسیپٹ آف یو نو ڈیلی روٹین لائف ایز فار ایز دس ٹاپک از کنسرن سم ویئرس دے آس می ٹو یو نو پٹ اے لیکچر آن اسلامک Uh, philosophy in daily routine life why islam is tagged with extremism and terrorism so and so uh, whether believers are committing uh, some act of violence and when islam is uh, going to be portrayed as religion of violence you should raise your voice was it the real myth of islam and islamic philosophy according to uh, quran and sunnah so i have decided that uh, the holy quran is very loud and clear about humanity about the concept of peace and Uh, tolerance and intersect harmony into faith harmony and uh, verbal sayings of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, prophet muhammad also argued on uh, you know human values and social justice and equality so there is no discrimination there is no element of violence in islam so today we will uh, look at brief in the light of teachings of quran and the methodology of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as well as his practical application what prophet did Uh, during his uh, era of 63 years uh, what was his interaction with uh, non muslims especially jews uh, especially uh, non believers with uh, christianity and other re- religion each and everything was uh, secured in the era of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam not only in the era of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but also in the era of rightly guided caliphs when we call rightly guided caliphs there are five rightly guided caliphs Uh, the era of khilafa is consist of 30 years from sayna abu bakr radhiyallahu anhu sayna umar sayna usman sayna ali and 6 month of sayna imam hasan al mushtaba radhiyallahu alayhi majmain is uh, considered as rightly guided khilafa so we will uh, look at the quran so i will start my proceedings from surah an nur uh, in which almighty allah said allah is the light of the heavens and the earth the example of his light is like a a uh, niche with uh, uh, you know which a lamp the lamp is uh, within glass the glass is in it where a purely white star lit from the oil of a blessed olive tree okay uh, then almighty allah said neither of the east nor of the west whose oil would among us all glow and it not understand but fire light upon light allah guides to his light whom he wills and allah presents example for the people and allah is knower of all thing allah nur samawat wal ard allah said allah is the light of heavens and the earth so uh, according to this verse life is complicated uh, it is complex life has vicissitudes and uncertainties life gives the impression of uh, permanency when life is not permanent why are we born some people said me why we are born and why uh, do we uh, die what is the concept of life and death in quran and we look at our surroundings we look at our deserts and we look at, at the oceans we we see the mountains and we observe the fertility of the soil uh, we gaze the skies and we try to look at the sun which we cannot see we try to understand the beauty of the moon all these beautifications are by almighty allah Uh, existence of all these things in variety and diversity if we dive into the universe there is a diverse concept who is the creator of all these diverse things is only almighty allah if a carpenter without a carpenter you cannot uh, you know produce a good wooden items so all this universe uh, full of glance full of beauty full of oceans high mountains and uh, deserts and each and everything was uh, produced by almighty allah so it is our belief astronomers also they convince that there are more stars than the number of stand particular on earth uh, some say there are more than 10 billion and trillion stars around in which uh, math would be run into total of uncountless you cannot count in calculator those items we all know that light travels from the speed of 1 lakh 86000 miles per second who do this who is behind the speed of light so science science cannot reach at that light even burak when prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, traveled from masjid al aqsa to sidratul muntaha and he met almighty allah 
so that was burak the ride of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so that is above the speed of light so who is behind burak can you imagine those who does not believe in allah and his uh, you know findings they should you know uh, think over these uh, metaphysical realities i must say and they will be they will have to believe in allah who is behind that super power supreme power only allah theek hai so our galaxy is rotating at the speed of 255 to 25 kilometers per second we look at each other so uh, when we look at each other uh, we are so different uh, even uh, identical twins are different fingerprints of two human beings cannot match even the lines on the tongue of every man and women cannot be identical so this is miracle who produced this almighty allah okay calcium carbon hydrogen nitrogen oxygen and around 60 other basic ingredients make up the human body encyclopedia britannica concludes that the human body consists of more than 75 trillion cells we have 75 trillion cells in our body science cannot produce that okay then scientists claim that the adult male body has around more than countless uh, atoms so each and everything is unified there seems to be a universe inside the human body who made all this this is really difficult to understand all this full of incompatibilities here comes the importance of the metaphysical the realm of transcendental benjamin uh, this really is not wrong and when he said where knowledge ends religion begins so all these things related to the powers of ultimate almighty allah so everyone uh, every religion believes in uh, existence of supreme power and force every major religion believes in life and death all three abrahamic religion judaism christianity and islam believe in existence of all powers of god on their part ag agnostics cannot categorically say there is no god remember this even a convinced atheist is not categorically convinced that there is no god good people honest and truthful people who were men of best character preach views which became religion truthful people like uh, they were not lies they were truthful abraham moses jesus and prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam they were standing on the higher standard of excellence they were chosen by almighty allah so islam is state forward religion with strong belief in one god god of muhammad Uh, says he is who sent ibrahim moses and jesus and prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam islam is not just faith and rituals remember this uh, some people say that this is the religion of rituals and 12th rabiul awwal and muharram you are on eid ul azha you are celebrating each and everything so it is confined to those rituals no islam is character hallmark of which are uh, humanity and tolerance since islam provided the social justice the system of retributive justice and distributive justice islam has a variety of different concepts in our social and individual life which resolve all the problems so islam hates dictatorship in islam allah is the supreme sovereign who is not at all pleased with those on earth who arrogant to themselves uh, arrogance and power muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was not Uh, anti-establishmentarianism during his time virtues in arabia fallen prey to cannot be called uh, flochism syndrome so all these facts uh, uh, standing that islam is con islam there is no concept of pope in islam there is no medium of clergy acting and in, uh, intermediary between man and his maker the religion is directly responsible to creator islam is a religion of nature in islam there is a practical role model that is prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who is final authority so having said that islam is a religion of nature quran full of reference to heavens and earth teach and everything is uh, discussed in the holy quran okay muslim don't believe in myths and superstitions muslim are not sacred of number 13 broken mirrors and black cats all these are misconceptions okay read the quran to cover without prejudice in favor of against so ghazali uh, how many books i i would like to quote imam ghazali how many books have been written in the world which are uh, anesthetically read by readers who don't understand the language uh, which those books have been written perhaps none except the quran quran is widely uh, read 
uh, around the globe maximum numbers. Ghazali is said to have said half of the disbelief in God is uh, in the world is caused by people who made religion look ugly due to their bad conduct and ignorance. Islam is full of essence of beauty and clarity, but the believers, they are the responsible. Due to some uh, their bad acts, Islam is uh, being damaged uh, around the globe. We will have to look uh, around the uh, activities of the Muslims. You should not blame Islam. Islam is very clear about that. Believers, they, there is a fault in believers. Fault line is not in Islam. Fault line is in believers because they are not practicing according to Quranic ideology, according to the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu If someone they are doing wrong uh, actions, uh, they should not be, uh, you know, uh, uh, affiliated with Islamic ideology. This is very unfortunate around the globe. Abraham and Moses should not be judged by look at the character of Jewish people. Yeah, this is the message for international community who are saying that Daesh is committing uh, such acts, so this is the Islam. No, Daesh is not representation of Islam. Our representation is Quran and Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and model provided by rightly guided caliphs. So misunderstanding should be removed from your hearts and mind. Islam is full of essence and Islam believes in harmony. Islam addresses the Holy Quran. The subject of Quran is for humanity, not for the Muslims only. So that's why Prophet said, Khairun Nasi Mayyan Faun Nas. The best among people who is source of benefit for the people. Regardless of their religion, their affiliation, ethnic group, language, race, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu directly addressed the humanity. The best among people who is source of benefit for the, uh, everyone. Everyone means whether he is believer or not believer. Whether he belongs to Judaism, Hinduism, Christianity, whether he has no belief. So equality and justice uh, promoted by Prophet Muhammad Sallam. This is the global order, Nabavi order we call Prophet Muhammad Sallam provided in during the Khutbah Hujatul Vida. So Muhammad Sallam is Allah in the Quran as sublime Muslim are not uh, impeachable like the followers of other faiths. Muslim are imperfect. Islam rejects extremism, terrorism. The Quran underline if anyone kills a person unless it be for the murder of spreading mischief in the land, it would be as if he killed entire mankind. And if one one uh, saved a life, it would be as if saved the entire mankind. The Quran also emphasizes the true servants of God, the most gracious and those who walk on earth in humility, gently. And when the ignorant address them, they reply with word of peace. When ignorant people address them, they reply with word of peace. Even Islam deplores Terrorism in all of forms, reflection and mis uh, manifestation. When Hindu, uh, India Hindus terrorists kill Kashmiris, Kashmiris react. When they react, India accuses them of terrorism. Israel persecutes the Palestinians. When Palestinians react, Israel accuses of them of terrorism. So the international media sides with India and Israel, not with Kashmiris and the, the Palestinians. They are fighting for their uh, freedom of uh, speech and expression and life. The West side with India and Israel, not with Kashmiris and the Palestinians. When Hitler and Nazis committed terror and atrocities against the Jews during the World War II, as you know, nobody said the Christianity promotes extremism and terrorism. That's true. When Buddhists massacre and rape Muslim people in Rohingya, Buddhists is not the accused of terrorism. When Hindu commits atrocities against Muslims in India, Hindu is, Hinduism is not accused of terrorism and extremism. But when Daesh commit atrocities, Islam and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi are accused of terrorism. This is very unfortunate. This is dual criteria, I must say. Interestingly, many who berate Islam themselves spec speculate that Daesh is creation of the CIA and Mossad. Daesh is certainly not the creation of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Islam. So, uh, would a devout Christian destroy a church? Would a uh, devout Jew destroy a synagogue? Would a devout Buddhist destroy his temple? Certainly not. If Daesh are Muslims, they are, uh, you know why they are destroying the mosques and they are killing the Muslims. Yeah, this is very important. Why they are burning the Quran of Allah? Why they are killing the Muslims who belong to their own faith? These are the questions that baffle. This is the number of Muslims are moderate is not correct statement. The fact is each and every Muslim is moderate except some few. 
who claim to be Muslims. Unfortunately, these few are given headlines by the international media. We will have to uh, project all these positives uh, of Islam before the world that you should, uh, you know, uh, alter, you should change your narrative regarding Islam and prophet of Islam, philosophy of Islam. If some uh, people like Daesh, Al-Qaeda and TTP, they are killing innocent people. Uh, if Rohingya, they are not, uh, uh, you know, associated with Buddhism. We cannot say Buddhism is a religion of terror. Hinduism is not religion of terror. That's why Islam is also not religion of terror. And it is proven by the teachings of Almighty Allah. By divine law, by practice of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So I have decided that I should explore and I should clear all those doubts uh, which are in the minds of some people that Islam has connection uh, in, in some, uh, you know, beliefs of terror. So there are not connection of Islam in, in, in some beliefs. Some people who have deep pockets in the West and in other areas, they are propagating against Islam. Stay safe. Uh, thank you very much again. Uh, Allah Hafiz.